Hello dear, welcome once again to Vijayendra Kshatriya channel. In this video, I am going to explain you line by line the contents of the poem The Old Playhouse written by Kamla Das, a very renowned poetess of Indian writing in English. The poem is mainly about the patriarchal society, that is the male dominated society. In this society, the women are considered as simply machines. The women are not given freedom. The women are exploited both physically and emotionally. The male mindset of this society, that is patriarchal society, is that a man thinks that a woman is born to look after him, to look after his interest, not her interest. The woman is almost the slave of the husband. As soon as a woman gets married and becomes a wife of a man, she loses all her identity, she loses the freedom and all her desires are cornered. And a man goes to the extent of thinking that she is there for him, for his needs are rather to fulfill his needs and she has to only work, work, work for him. That is the main content of this poem. The poet is here is too much frustrated, especially by the treatment meted to her by husband. The husband exploits her, misuses her curtailing her freedom, curtailing her expression, curtailing her own desires. That's why she is frustrated. Here we find the focus on physical misuse, rather exploitation sexually. How a man exploits a woman sexually, that is the main focus she has given here. Let me give you the explanation line by line so that you understand each and every phrase properly. Okay? You plan to tame a swallow. You here refers to the husband. A woman is telling her husband that you plan to tame a swallow. Swallow is a bird. A small one, a fragile one, a delicate one you can say and he is the captor that means he has caught her. The swallow is in his grip now. What is that grip? The grip is the institution called marriage. So by marrying a woman he has become the captor, he has caught her and the, the bird, the fragile bird the weak bird, the soft bird, swallow, is the representation of her own entity. She stands for that bird. To hold her in the long summer of your love. Long summer of your love means the marriage. So that means by way of marriage, you have caught me and now you are taming me. So that she would forget not the raw seasons alone. Raw seasons means her girlhood, carefree life, the life with the full of freedom when she was in father's house. That she calls it as raw seasons. Not only that, and the homes she left behind. That means she has to forget her past life. He is taming her like that. Again and again he is reiterating, she is telling, he is telling that you are not the same person what you were earlier, that is before the marriage. You have changed, you have become a woman now. You are no more a maid. That means here you need to behave in a way he wants. But also her nature the urge to fly and the endless pathways of the sky as a woman 
whatever her natural instincts are there she has to forget it now because she has become a wife now and the urge to fly urge to fly means enjoying the freedom that she has to forget now and the endless pathways of the sky uh, sky here means her life so whatever the options are there for her progress those all the pathways are now stopped because she is a wife now now from this line there is a shift in thought actually you can say another stanza is starting what is that it was not to gather knowledge of at another man she says that she has already studied the behavior of few men when she was in father's house she knows about her father she knows about the brothers she knows about the cousins she already knows about the men so she says it is not my intention to know another man that is not the intention of marrying that i came to know you but to learn what i was her intention of marrying was to know herself to explore her womanhood to explore her motherhood further in the future she is going to be a mother so she wanted to explore herself she wanted to know herself not the husband and by learning to learn to grow by learning what she is by learning her own self now she will learn how to progress in life how to grow in life but every lesson you gave was about yourself but after marrying whatever the lessons she learned it was all about the man that is the husband because he gave no freedom to think about her all the time he has been telling about himself and he wanted her to know about only himself not the woman because he wants that she should care about his needs not her needs that's why he has been taming her he has been training her giving all the instructions about himself now from here another shift of thought you were pleased with my body's response its weather it's a usual shallow convalescence no she is directly coming to that point what she wants to focus she says you were pleased with my body's response that means whenever he approached her for sex that time the natural instinct in her that is a lust what we call that is sexual desire when a man touches a woman it is natural that those feelings are risen so she responded to his touches that gives him pleasure and the man enjoys that it's weather weather here means change of temperature or change of nature in her body that is before the man touched her she was calm and cool her body was cool as he touches her she becomes hot her body temperature rises because of the sexual feelings that's why she says weather my weather it's usual shallow convalescence convalescence means shaking that means when he is doing sex with her that time the body shakes she says that he enjoyed all these things you dribbled spittle into my mouth that means while kissing her he used to kiss so very hard spittle means here spit uh the saliva what we say that all this saliva from his mouth he used to put in her mouth and she is telling it was so much that almost it filled her mouth 
and he enjoyed it. And he is not bothered about what happens to her here. He is interested in his own self. You poured yourself into every nook and cranny. What a bold writing it is. Nook and corner. The cranny means the crack. You can understand what it is. She is telling that he has, has touched all those private parts while doing this sex act and poured his body juices. That is the sweat, the spittle, then semen. All these things he poured. That is forcibly they all were injected into her body. Not knowing whether she likes it or not. What a bold writing it is. You embalmed my poor lust with your bitter sweet juices. See how he has used the oxymoron here. Bitter sweet. For him, they may be sweet. For her, they are bitter. The phrase. See the phrase. You embalmed my poor lust. Embalming here means putting some balm in order to soothe a wound, in order to reduce the pain. Naturally, it means that he has hurt her. After hurting her, he is putting the balm. You called me wife. That means you gave me a tag. That is, I am wife, your wife. I was taught to break saccharine into your tea to offer at right time the vitamins. These phrases say that she is there to serve him, to prepare tea for him, giving medicine in time. That is again caring about his health. That is her job, he says. As a wife, he thinks that it is her holy duty to serve him, serve all his needs. So, giving tea, giving food in time, giving medicines in time, looking after all his affairs. Covering beneath your monstrous ego, I ate the magic loaf and became a dwarf. Became a dwarf means became a slave. Monstrous ego. Ego means the feeling of self-prestige, the feeling that I am the superior. That is called ego. She was covering, that means cringe with the fear. It means that he has created the atmosphere of fear. The two monstrous ego means very strong ego. According to him, the life what he has given to her is magical. I lost my will and reason. To all your questions, I mumbled incoherent replies. So, after certain time, she lost her mind. She was unable to think what is right and what is wrong. This is all the outcome of his training. He has made her life miserable. She is very much upset with her life. She is not at all happy in her life. And it has gone to such an extent that she has lost her thinking, the power of reasoning. Plus, whenever he asked something, she was unable to answer those questions properly. Simply, she used to mumble. She used to just say something which is unrelated. Because she was unable to think properly. She has lost that capacity for reasoning. Now, from here, another shift of thought. The summer begins to pall. Pall means come to an end. That means the end of her life has already begun. Because the life she is leading is now meaningless. I remember the rudder breeze of the fall. Rudder breeze of the fall. Fall means falling of the leaves. Now autumn has started and the leaves are falling. So, leaves here represent her desires, her wants, her needs. She is telling they are all falling. That means they are coming to nil. All and 
the smoke from the burning leaves the leaves have started falling and the dry leaves have caught fire and they are burning so here again it means that her desires her needs and her feelings are now burning they are vanishing that means that smoke is suffocating her that means she is leading a life of suffocation there is no freedom your room is always lit by artificial lights that is the life he has created for her according to him it is a very beautiful life according to him it is full of love and affection but she doesn't think like that the life he has created for her is all fake it is a fakery your windows always shut your windows means window of his feelings she is unable to understand him because he has closed all the windows of his life his being he has not exposed his inner being actually she wanted to know what he is but he has already closed the windows of his life even the air conditioners help so little is all pervasive is the male scent of your breath that means in that room that is in that closed life now it is completely dominated by his breath the smell of his body that is dominating there that means it is male domination that's all you can say it's a smell doesn't mean here just a smell of the body his presence in that small life of wife and husband his domination is so much that there is no room for there is no small space for her that's the reason she says that everywhere your presence is felt the cut the cut flowers in the vase have begun to smell of human sweat human sweat that is his own body odor that smell has become so very strong that even the sweet smell of those flowers which were brought in the morning and kept in the vase now have lost their sweet smell because of this strong presence of the male body odor this is to say that the sweet presence of the wife is totally vanished it is completely dominated the life is completely dominated by the presence of male male ego there is no more singing no more dance my mind is an old playhouse with all its lights put out she is comparing her life with the old playhouse wherein all the loud lights have been switched off that is to say that her life has become the old dark playhouse playhouse means where dramas are played now she is comparing her life with the playhouse when a drama is enacted there is a lot of activity there lot of beautiful costumes beautiful dialogues and so much of a creativity is there in the playhouse now she says that all those things have come to zero nil because of the husband she is comparing her life with a dark playhouse that is there is no activity no creativity no freedom no enjoyment nothing the strong man's technique is always the same that means now she is universalizing all the habits of the men all men are same she says he serves his love with a lethal doses lethal means that which kills you that means very hard and harsh whenever he indulged in sexual act with a wife he was harsh lethal doses she says he was very harsh in doing that sexual act that means she did not like it 
that means it was painful for her but he never considered that for him his pleasure is always paramount that is very important for him for love is narcissus at the water's edge now here she is bringing greek mythology here narcissus was a handsome young man who fell in love with his own image when he saw his image in the water in the pond so he was so much obsessed with his own image he fell in love with and this made him not to love anybody afterwards because he was obsessed with his own self so this is really killing it is self destructive for narcissus haunted by its own lo lonely face that is narcissus lonely face that means that is the only face he has seen he has not seen any other faces and he become obsessed with the beauty of his own self and yet it must seek at last an end a pure total freedom now narcissus's love is for himself it is not for others actually he has to love somebody else especially a woman but now he is in love with himself which is destructive this type of a behavior is destructive that means he has to come out of that situation that is self obsession which is not good in the same way she has to come out of her life now because it has become destructive it is killing her she is going to die slowly therefore she wants freedom now so how will she get the freedom when she comes out of that married life she has to get away from that situation it must will the mirrors to shatter it must will the mirrors that means her own life that mirror has to get shattered that means that life the artificial life what she has now that should break that should shatter that life should break to give her the freedom and the kind night to erase the water that means here the water is a medium in which narcissus saw himself and he he fell in love with himself now in order to save him from this situation either the water has to go away or the night has to arrive so something should happen in her life this is now she is telling that she has to get the freedom the present life has to break she has to come out of this ugly situation ugly patriarchal system wherein she is zero she is nil she is not at all considered as a human being even she is considered as only a machine she is thinking that it is the fake it is not natural and it doesn't give her the freedom freedom of expression freedom to grow freedom to explore herself everything is stopped at last she says her desire is to come out of this situation and breathe a fresh that means she wants absolute freedom she wants to come out of the captivity of that husband who has created a fake life i hope you have understood everything clearly in another video i am going to give you the complete summary of it so that before the examination just you can listen and write properly if this explanation is better than the explanation given by others then please like the video so that i will know that you are satisfied with my explanation thank you once again